Hey guys, it's time for my monthly empties. This is going to be the products that I used up in the month of May. And typically my Sephora bag is a lot fuller than this, um, but I think most of the products are fairly small this month. So I still got through some good stuff. So we'll go ahead and share with you guys what those things are. Starting off, I always have some sort of makeup wipe every single month, so this is not super exciting. But these are both by Kirkland. It is their you know daily facial towelettes. Really love them. I think. They're great and they're a lot more affordable than some of like the name brands that you can pick up at like Target and stuff. And then I have a lotion. This is the Bath and Body Jingle Bellini Body Lotion. And I am super bummed that this one is done because I loved every second of this scent. Oh, it's just so amazing. It's like fresh, but it's super peachy. And it was just a joy <laughs> to use it every night after I took a shower. So very sad that I am done with this product, but if it does come out in any of the holiday collections in the future, I will be stocking up because it is amazing. I have kind of a random one, but this is a like nail file. This has several of like the different steps to when you are filing your nails for like a manicure. It has like the regular emery board side that's totally just wrecked. And then it has the second side and the third side that help to kind of smooth those out. They're a little bit, you know, smoother texture. I always like to have these in my just like manicure set. So I decided to purchase a new one and replace this because it was looking a little sad. <laughs> so replace that one. I have one of the wallflowers. I think this was also like peach bellini or something of that nature. So um, really enjoyed that scent as well. And then I have a perfume. This was actually um, sent to me by Scentbird a while ago. I think I did an unboxing or something like that. Um, it's the Escada Born in Paradise. And so I did finish up this really cool like concept where you get a new perfume every month and then there's a actual applicator that you put this in the violin and so you have this perfume that you can take on the go because it's not like a huge amount of it so you can put it in your purse or you just can still keep it on your nightstand and you can switch these out all the time you can just use this as well just by itself um, and it will be a nice way to kind of carry it around with you too again this was a Escada um, Born in Paradise perfume I love the Escada scents because they're super obnoxiously sweet <laughs> which I totally enjoy this one was really cool too, but it had a lot more of like, um, kind of more of like a coconutty smell, I feel like. It was a little bit different some of the other ones that I have. I have a cherry one and some other one. I don't know. They're all like super sweet, but I really did like this scent. I don't know if I would repurchase it in the future, but I did enjoy being able to try it out. I have a hair care product. This is the Numi Argan Oil. I'm pretty positive I got this for fairly inexpensive when I had gotten a Numi product. Um, I had bought, what did I buy from them? I think I got a hair straightener for a friend for Christmas and the Argan Oil was like an add-on item for like six bucks or something like that. So it's basically just like any kind of argan oil. I used it for my hair to try to moisturize my hair as much as I can because it is really, really dry. And I liked it. I don't know if I would go out and order it again just because argan oils are fairly easy to find really anywhere nowadays. Um, but I do think that it was a great hair oil. If you are on the website, you're making a purchase, I would definitely purchase it. I have one more nail product and then I have three makeup products. Um, so this is the IBD five second brush on nail glue for natural nails, artificial nails, and nail tips. I use this product primarily like if I'm going to do any kind of like nail decals, like if I'm going to put a little diamond on my nail or a little bow. I was really bummed. I <laughs> went to go use it and it was completely dried up and the brush is somewhere stuck in there as well. So not something that is very long lasting. I mean, I have had it for over a year, but it's not like it was anywhere near done when it comes to how much product was in there. If you guys have a suggestion of a brand of, you know, like nail glue that lasts longer, please let me know because I would be interested in picking that up instead. And then I have three makeup products. The first one is this Urban Decay. This is the B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. I um, have taken a long time to use this because this is something that I keep in my like travel section. 
so I don't use it on a regular basis I just bring it with me when I am traveling and I thought it was a really great spray my favorite is still the all-nighter by Urban Decay so I probably won't repurchase this one specifically but I thought it was great as a primer and for a setting spray I also have kind of a deluxe sample of the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer and did I say that right Pore Refiner Primer that's that's a tongue twister for sure um, and I really like this product it's one of those primers that isn't like white or clear it actually has a little bit of a like skin tone um, color to it and so I do think that it helps not only prime but it kind of you know preps your face for that canvas and kind of helps to blur any of like the discoloration and stuff so I do really like it I don't know if it's just me but this smells of tea tree let me know I maybe there is tea tree in here I didn't even look at the ingredients um, it doesn't say the ingredients on here but it does smell like tea tree to me which I enjoy the smell so that doesn't bother me but if you don't like scents you know maybe keep note of that and I would be interested in repurchasing that this down the line I think it's a really great primer it does help to kind of um, you know fill in those pores mattify everything it has kind of like that cool like almost velvety texture to your skin when you wear it so I thought it was really great I also finally used up this product this was something that I have been hoarding for a really long time just because it's expensive and so and I know people love it and so I didn't want to use it but it is like a deluxe size sample of the NARS eyelid primer and I used it up completely unfortunately there's nothing left in here um, this was I think a great primer I really liked it but it's not one of my favorite just because it's a little bit more of a thinner texture and I am one that prefers a little bit of a thicker texture I like the you know textures of like the Mac painterly paint pot something that has a little bit more you know thickness to it and I also like ones that have a little bit more pigment to them so they really kind of neutralize everything but I think as a primer it is a beautiful primer it does the job it reminds me more of like the Urban Decay primer potion but maybe a little bit less like liquidy and sticky and then a little bit more of like like the primer texture for your face where it does give a little bit more of like that velvet texture at the end um, so I really liked it. I thought it was nice. It had my eyeshadow in place, does what it needs to do as a primer, um, but not something that I probably would repurchase. But if there was like a, you know, Sephora, you know, 100 point or 500 perk and that was in it or a set that had it in there, I would totally love uh, trying it out again. Those are my empties for the month of May. For June, it's already looking really good. I've already completed three makeup products for June, so super excited about that that are totally separate from my Project Pans. So that's always an awesome thing to do. So look out for the June empties coming up at the end of the month. And I hope you guys are doing fabulous, and I'll see you on one of my next videos. Bye!